Did you know that originally with sex education, pretty much they just told you to don't do it, right? But they eventually realized like people are gonna do it anyways, so let's just teach them how to be safe about it. That's kind of what I realized about Tana Mojo. If I just tell you guys not to watch her, you're still gonna watch her, so I might as well teach you how to watch her the right way. What is up everybody, this is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health and what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community, try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So before I jump into this topic of how to watch Tana Mojo the right way, listen up, all right? We have been killing it over on Instagram. The one thing I want, the one thing I want, like if I have ever helped you in any way, shape, or form, follow me on Instagram, okay? I just wanna hit 10,000 followers. Like, even if you don't subscribe to my channel, just go follow me on Instagram, like do that. I just want the little swipe up feature. It's not too much to ask. Follow me on Instagram, at The Rewired Soul. I'm gonna be doing more on there and live streams and everything like that. But anyways, go follow me on Instagram. All right, so yeah, let's talk about Tana Mojo. So, I give Tana a lot of crap on my channel. I try to teach you all what you can learn from her and like what not to do and all of that. But here's the thing, and I don't know, my mom just being in town and talking a lot about tough love. Like I hope you all realize like, I, I do love everybody. I don't think anybody's hopeless. I don't think anybody's a lost cause. You know, I'm able to see the good in all people and sometimes that's a, that's a fault of mine. But like, I wanna throw a disclaimer. I still don't think people should um, look up to Tana Mojo as a role model, but but what I wanna say, what I wanna make really clear, and this is gonna be for future videos too, is that nobody, not even you, nobody is all good or all bad. Some of you have been following my channel, we talk about black and white thinking. Black and white thinking is people are all good or all bad. No, most humans, most humans, unless you're, you're a psychopath, like most humans have good qualities and bad qualities. And something I wanna teach all of you, like we're not gonna rid the world of anybody who's screwing up or messing up or whatever. That's not gonna happen. But in every one of our interactions every single day, I want you to kind of look at each person you know, um, whether it's in person, at work, in your family, or even on YouTube. Try to see which good qualities you can identify. Take the good, leave the rest, okay? That's what we're also trying to do with ourselves, with our mental health. Let's look at the good qualities that we wanna hold on to, then let's look at the bad qualities and let's work on those or get rid of them, all right? So with Tana Mojo, uh, very polarizing, but I wanted to do this video real quick. Sorry for my long intro. Some of you like them, some of you don't. But with Tana Mojo, I've been really analyzing. Why do people watch Tana? Like, why on earth do people watch Tana? And I made a video not that long ago, like I figured out why people watch Tana. And that video was mainly based around how we watch YouTubers or people on reality TV who justify our poor behavior. But there's another group of people who watch Tana who is really fascinating to me, and that's the first thing I wanna talk about, is Tana can teach you how to have fun, all right? Tana, Tana's a girl She's uh, who parties, she loves to party, always has fun, always has insane story times and stuff like that. And like, a lot of what I want you to realize is the balance. So I saw a lot of people comment that they watch Tana because they're very introverted, they don't go out much, and they kind of watch Tana to live vicariously through her crazy lifestyle, right? But like, what I want you to take from that is just to learn to have fun and do things and go out. Like if you're watching her like, I hope what you realize, like this is something I, I just, I will, I will never get it through to enough of you, right? Some of you might get it, but I am no different than you. Tana Mojo is no different than you. Tana and I are the exact same people. Like we are all the same. Some of us just happen to hop on YouTube and get some followers. That is it. So what I want you to take from this is that if Tana can go out and have fun, you can have fun. Like something I try to teach people is I'm a sober man. I don't drink, I don't use drugs, all right? I have so much fun, it would make your brain explode, all right? Like I have a blast all the time. My son and I just went out to breakfast, had a great time. My beautiful girlfriend, who I miss so much right now because she's in Sacramento for the week. But anyways, her and I have fun, we have great conversations. So those of you who are watching Tana to kind of live vicariously and see how she goes out and has fun, like you can do that too. But with everything I'm gonna talk about, like take precautions, all right? Like you can go out and have fun, 
just don't be getting into fights and, uh, and things like that. So the next good quality about Tana is that she's a successful young woman. Like there is no denying that. She is a successful young woman. She's young, she's making her own money, she's independent, right? She has merch, she goes on tour and all those things. Like that to me is something inspiring. Like no matter who the YouTuber is, like, I don't, like again, I'm not a fan of Tana, I'm not a fan of Jake Paul, I'm not a fan of Logan Paul. There's a lot of YouTubers who I'm not a fan of. But what I want you to take from that is like anybody can do this Anybody can pick up a camera. Like you guys, I started out my YouTube channel on my phone. That's it, you know what I mean? And like now, you know, with my books and like my Patreon and the merch and all that, like I am fully supporting myself. I, I support my son, you know what I mean? I have my own place through what I'm doing on my own, right? So I, I hope that you guys can look at that and say, okay, if this young woman can do it, what can I do to get to that level of success? Now, with the next couple topics we're gonna talk about, like you need to find out what works for you, you need to find out how you stay mentally healthy, you need to find out how you're gonna be successful without causing problems and drama and getting into all this stuff, right? But I hope watching these YouTubers gives you hope. Like we, again, we are just normal people, right? We are no different than you or anybody else. Same thing with celebrities. Like I don't get starstruck. Like people are just people. Like I always try to teach you guys that money and all these other things are not just gonna eradicate your depression. And I'm, I'm gonna do a video or send out an email soon about the difference between happiness and not being stressed. Because those are two different things. I see a lot of people who say, no, if I had money, I'd be happy. No, 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 no. If you had money, you'd be less stressed about certain things, but it doesn't guarantee your happiness, all right? But look at somebody like Tana, who's a young woman who is very successful. And even though I don't agree with young women watching Tana Mojo, like I, if I had a daughter, Tana Mojo would not be somebody who she watches. But again, young women are gonna watch Tana and I hope they can just see, despite all the bad qualities, that it is possible for a young woman to become successful and independent. All right, so this next one, I just made a video. <laughs> I just made a video, don't be friends with Tana Mojo. But again, I don't think anybody's all good or all bad. So her friend Zach, Bad Zach, I just realized he's a rapper too. He got beat up by this dude Bryce, right? Tana was there for him. Tana was there for Zach. That's a great quality. Like, as friends, we need to be there for our friends. Now, I think Tana went about it in the wrong way. I think Tana was very petty. I think she was very childish in her video. I think there was a million other things she could have done that would have been much better to help her friend Zach in that situation. But, like I said, not everything is just black and white. The fact that, the, that she was there for Zach was something good. Right, like we need to learn how to be there for our friends. Um, one of the issues that I see with a lot of friendships or relationships is a lot of it's just take, 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 right? But we also have to kind of um, dissect the friendship a little bit. So if any of you watched Tana's story time with Zach, like what I would say is, I would, I would have a conversation like, how do, we, how do we avoid these situations in the future, right? Like you guys, just to make it clear, I don't have any friends who are getting into fights on a regular basis anymore, right? Because either A, we both matured and grew up together, or B, they're not in my life anymore. One thing that I would say though that you can also learn from Tana in this kind of topic is that Tana, um, Tana does, she is mindful of Zach's good qualities, right? Like she pointed out the good qualities in Zach. So Tana does see that, right? So what I would say to take away from that and what you can learn from Tana um, is to find people who have similar qualities, okay? Now, I could dissect Zach and these qualities like in a whole nother video, but I think it's important to realize that there, there's a lot of people who are very helpful, kind, and generous, but it's still extremely problematic or have a, a life that's unmanageable, all right? The last thing I wanna talk about, um, and it actually came up on Twitter uh, a minute ago from, you know what, let me give her a shout out real quick. She's one of my favorite people on Twitter. By the way, follow me on Twitter too. This is from Anne. So I said like, uh, my original title for this was Why Tana Mojo is a Good Role Model. Uh, and Anne replied and said, I think she can be an example of just uh, doing what you want despite what other people think, for better or for worse. Also, she is a good example of having a non-monogamous relationship instead of cheating, right? So yeah, let's talk about sexuality real quick. Like, I think, I think it is a good example. Like, you guys, 
I, I had some people comment on my Trisha Paytas and Jason Nash video. I'm like, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> right? Like, you guys, like, I cannot express to you. I cannot express to you, like, how much better your mental health would be if you quit caring so damn much about what people think about you. So kind of like Anne mentioned in that, like, Tana is great at not caring so much about what people think of her, right? Like, you guys, like, it is, it is screwed up, and it's gonna sound like I'm some, like, white knight or nice guy or whatever when I say this. Like, it is very screwed up how if a guy hooks up with a lot of women, you know, he's like a player or a pimp, right? But if a girl does that, it's a completely different view. Like, that's nuts. So, like, I'm glad that Tana, like, is very open and vocal about that, and I hope women understand, like, not even women, but guys understand understand too like you know like we're all just people just do your thing if you're not hurting anybody if you're not running around spreading stds or like whatever it is that can harm other people do your thing boo do your thing all right and i also like what ann said too like you guys I know monogamous relationships are like the normal, like I'm in one, that's what I like, that's what I prefer, that's what works for me. Myself and Tristan, we are just committed to each other 1000%, but there's nothing wrong with open relationships. I've done some videos about that in the past. Like if you're polyamorous or you, if you have an open relationship, do your thing. Like I said, as long as you're not hurting anybody, who cares, you know what I mean? We, we hold back ourselves so much from doing what makes us happy or what we believe in. Like, you guys, morals, morals are all about perception, right? Like, my morals are different than your morals, right? Like, a great book I read on this is called The Moral Landscape. But anyways, like, as long as you're not hurting anybody, like, do your thing. Now, it does get a little, like, gray area when it's like, oh, is my... Is my sexuality hurting my parents, right? But then a lot of times when it comes to parents, family, friends, whoever it is, like I want all of you to know right now, that's more of a problem with them than it is with you, okay? Let me repeat that real quick. A lot of people who judge you on your lifestyle if you're not hurting anybody, that is a problem with them. That is not a problem with you, all right? So like I said, like I'm, I'm glad that Tana's very open and honest about, about these things, but you know, on the negative side of it, I don't think it's good for, you know, her young viewers to, you know, witness that all the time. I, I hope her younger viewers are having conversations with their parents, they're being smart, and all those other things. But for all of you in your 20s and things like that who are watching this, I hope it kind of inspires you to be a little bit more brave, a little bit more fearless, and care a little bit less about what people think of you, all right? So again, again, like the point and the goal of this video, like I'm not telling you to go subscribe to Tana. If you want to, you can. But if you're gonna watch Tana, watch her the right way. For example, I have people in my life who I don't look up to as role models, but I look at them and say, what can I learn from them? What parts of them can help me or help my mental health? All right, so I hope that helps all of you out. Um, let me know down in the comments below, like what good quality, focus on the good quality, what good quality can you take away from Tana Mojo? All right, let's get a little, a little glasses half full up in this piece. And again, again, if you're not following me on Instagram yet, please go follow me on Instagram. I just wanna hit 10K, please. I'm sorry, I won't beg. All right, but if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell, because I make a ton of videos and a huge, huge Huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. We got some new names up there. If you would like to be one of the names on this list, click or tap on that Patreon icon right there. You also get access to some exclusive content. All right, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.